I, I agree with that. But, the, but ISI is like all other intelligence services, whether it's the Australian service or the American service. You're not in the business to help other people. You're in the business of intelligence to protect your own country and support your own government. The idea that ISI is a rogue organization is popular, and even the Pakistanis promote it. But having worked with them for the better part of 20 years, they're a very disciplined, very able intelligence service. As I said, Pakistan doesn't leave the area when we do. They have to um, uh, stay there and try to stabilize things in their own country. To do that, they believe at least, they have to help reestablish an Islamic country in Afghanistan, an Islamic government. So Afghanistan, if it looks to expand, will look north to Central Asia and not into Pakistan, which in turn allows the Pakistanis to move better than 100,000 troops off of the eastern border back to their western border with, uh, uh, off the western border rather, back to the eastern border against India, which whether we like it or believe it or not, they think is their main enemy. So uh, I really find the situation in Afghanistan largely of our own making. And the Pakistanis will support an Islamic government in Kabul because that's their best interest. Uh, we have created a mess. They have to sort it out now. And it's really a, a disastrous situation for the United States, at least, because uh, the American people, I think, are going to believe bin Laden's dead. We're leaving Afghanistan. The problem is over. But if you look at it, at a, at it objectively, uh, al-Qaeda is now in... Uh, has six different operational platforms where in at 2001 it only had one. And so we're much worse off. And we've also demonstrated to the Islamists that we are not, um, uh, it's, it's an old-fashioned word, but we're not manly. But they, the enemy loses hundreds a week. And, and uh, we, a country, a superpower of 300 million people, cannot tolerate the loss of 160 people a year. It's a bad example to set for an enemy who is willing to expend enormous numbers of lives. 